to import all your pricing for your customers is very simple. Uh, you'll see something called vendor price lists. Go here. I already created a, um, here's what it looks like. You list the vendor, vendor product name, code, delay time, product, minimum quantity to purchase, price, and vo validity. And then what you can do here is list all those out here. Be able to take your products. We'll just say, um, you know, these products, for instance, as an example. Um, oops, we'll actually go here. And I'll list those. Not as that, but here. List your price, right? We'll just list some random prices. Min quantity will be zero. Delay, one day, two day. This is the lead time. Just using an example. And then you have your name, right? And we'll, we'll buy all these. These will be all the vendors that you work with. And I'll just use these vendors as an example. And you'll be able to download as. And go to your price list, import, load file. Same concept. Test the import. Everything's valid. Imports your pricing for all those products. So now when you go look at that product, you will see um, let me see what's going on here. There we go. You'll see under purchase, you'll see all that pricing came into play for those products for any of the acrylics. So ACR the issue is I was clicking one of those. I have to click product. It'll show you all your acrylics, put a purchase, and you'll see you'll have a vendor and a price associated with all of them. There you have it. So that's how you can import all your pricing. If you have additional questions, let me know.